Hello and welcome to another epic episode of the Wicked Edition. I'm Dr. Kingori. Thank you for the trust. Thank you for the love and thank you for your continued support. Asante ni sana. Uh, it's been a great week. So much to talk about. Kwanza there's a clip I stumbled upon on Twitter this week. Nothing to do with today's show. But mime ni chekesha killer time na iyona. Wacha ni waoneshe kwanza. <laughs> Kama uko na clip yote moto kama itafadhali nirushia on any of my social media platforms uh, tukitumia kwa show na mina kutengenezea siku na bundles za weekend mzima courtesy of Telkom Kenya the weekend bundles now the clip i just played ina ni bamba on so many levels i'm still trying to imagine what happens next in that scenario i'm guessing ni jamana kuna kitu alifanya in fact uyo ni jamana the guy amelala i believe this is also an accurate impression on on how our government deals with looters just that, they just make you get the message that wame kuona. But at least in that video, mwenye meoneka na kiiba anarudisha pesa ruwasafi. <laughs> yes. Ah, in fact, something like this has uh, actually been in the news uh, this week. Former Kasarani MP Elizabeth Ongoro and 19 others have been accused of spending 49 million shillings for the construction of Kasarani Girls High School between 2007 and 2013, a school that does not exist. <laughs> leave, leave alone the idea of stealing a school hoping that no one will notice. Imagine how hard it's going to be to convince some of our unemployed graduates in Kenya that education is the key to success. Yet there is breaking news of people making millions of shillings by doing away with school. <laughs> For real. Now, the story didn't pick up much uh, because very many Kenyans have gone to schools that don't exist anyway. Buddha uli somea wapi wewe? Nisomea uko Ndumberi. Ndumberi girls? Apana. Ndumberi secondary? Z. Ndumberi D. Apana wei yiko Ndumberi wei niki wei. We've also, we've also had stories of uh, uh, existing schools that have produced uh, graduate Kenyan students who never existed there in the first place. Punjab University is one of them. Anyway. <laughs> We have a great show lined up for you. Our guest for this episode is a lady whose passion for social justice speaks for itself. She's one of the most articulate individuals I've ever come across, especially on matters to do with the welfare of this country. Team Wicked Edition, how about a warm welcome for Jerotish Seyi? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Asante Nisana. Today's episode is a special dedication to uh, everyone who has reached out to me, Akin Uliza. I have loads and loads of such requests, and I've been thinking of how best to respond. Stay tuned. Maybe this episode carries a bulb moment for you. Also, thank you very much to everyone who brought their A-game to last week's meme conversation on my social media platforms, courtesy of Telcom Kenya. Zilez uh, the weekend bundles, a very good deal in the market right now. On Facebook, tulikwana ade my key. I hope I pronounced that uh, correctly. He won by likes. He posted a picture of himself in deep thought. Akisema, Ati, I can't believe my eyes have never seen my ears. <laughs> I'll tell you more about that in a bit. Sababu ile wazimu, watu wakonayo hapo kwa mtandao ni unmatched. Beyond that, kuna watu peleka wazimu to a whole new level. Especially ki extend pale on the ground, it becomes something else. This past Saturday, someone snatched a silver chain from Calligraph's neck while he was performing in Kisumu. I've always known that Kenyans are daring and courageous, but could snatch chain kwa shingoya. Let, let me put this, let me put it this way. Could snatch chain karibu na kichwa ya the OG ni kama kuchuna maembe state house. <laughs> As in, or better yet, hiyo ni kama kuiba piki piki ya polisi alafu unaingia kubeba na yo CBD. <laughs> but then in that, in that case, nani anakushika ni kanjo ama ni polisi? Anyway, that's besides the point. If you've seen Calligraph, you should have an idea of how dangerous it is to snatch a chain from his neck. And speaking after the incident, or should I say his chain reaction, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Speaking after the incident, Calligraph revealed that the chain cost 60,000 shillings. Na akasema hata akusikia vibaya juu anapenda mafansu wake. Now, for those asking why a chain would cost 60k, me and SKA a voice control. That's why, even as a hardcore rapper, calligraphy is not a But then, 
But then again, it's very easy to question calligraph strength because na hizo muscles zote, hiyo bay alinunua chain proves that aligongwa. <laughs> but haters wana sema ati nyororo ya, haters wana sema ati nyororo ya umbo ni 150, na unaweza ivuruta mchana yote na isikatike. <laughs> hiyo ya 60,000, hiyo ya 60k, ni gani yenye mtu walitoa kama mbigiji kwa ntogi. <laughs> but anyway, anyway, that's besides the point. I have, uh, 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 there's something I've been longing to share with you uh, from early this month and finally the time is here. For the past one year we've had several episodes where we have highlighted on the lives and the needs of refugees and I'd like to take this moment to once again thank you for your generosity and for your contributions, the contributions you've made towards their welfare. Uh, with that in mind, UNHCR gave us a chance to see the real situation on the ground at the Kakuma refugee camp and uh, to get the feel of the impact of your contributions and what more we can do. Every refugee in Kakuma has a story to tell. Sadly, we can't tell them all. However, one of the first people I met uh, on the first day we landed there uh, is a gentleman from Burundi, Anaitua Rukundo Jean-Marie Vianney. And speaking to him gave me a whole new perspective on life. By the way, I was 1995, I think I was 12 years, Ndipo genocide kawa. Wazazi hawa utayari tulipoteana katika inchi ya Rwanda. Sasa nilipo separate na wazazi wangu, kuna mtu ambaye kama kejana rini karibisha, haka niakomodeti kwa familia yake, Arafu nikaenda naye chini nikajikuta katika inchi ya Kongo. Arafu ndipo ka familia tofauti zikawa zinaniaccommodate like 3 days ninakimbia nao tena marisasi na tuse na tuseparate ninajikuta tena ni kijana mdogo anatembea peke yake. Hapo sasa ndo nilikutana na watu wanajua wazazi wangu wakaniambia ya kwenye mama walimuona kiwa ni maiti. So hapo nika, 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 nika machozi, maisha ikaendelea kwa hiyo. Kuna mutu tulikuwa tunapiga story, e, na huyo mutu nilikutania na, na hapa Kenya. Alikuwa kizungumuza na wazazi wake. Wazazi wake ndipo akawambia na munajua na kijana yure jama rivyane wa furani na wa furani. E, sasa tuko na yeye, wazazi wake walikufa kitambu, asema apana. Rukundo wa kwa furani ndiyo. Uwe wazazi wake niliwaona Tanzania ya munamo miaka rifu mbili na tatu rifu mbili na ine. Suna muna gani warikufa? Kuna watu ya reconnect wa msaidie kutafuta hawa watu, nikapata wakika la kwamba warikuwa hapo. Lakini sasa, e, bada ya miezi ine hili niende nipatane na wawo, nikakuta kumbi warikuwa katika shuguri za kuhamishwa, E, ndipo sasa huyo mama na dada yangu wako lakini hiyo mwaka walihamishwa Amerika. In 1994 ulijua mama yako na Na yeye kwa upande wake pia alikuwa aliambiwa nilikufa. Na mpaka leo hamujawahi patana. Uh, Hatujawahi patana. Was there something you are looking forward to? ukitoroka ukienda mnakuwa na watu unasema mmekuwa na watu siku tatu unatoroka tena wakati huo moto alikuwa hana vision hata moto kikushtua kidogo it's like una surrender ni uwe basi na mimi lakini unajikuta tena Mungu amekusaidia by that time wakati huo moto alikuwa hana vision ile ya kusema acha nikufe kesho tu acha nisikufe leo nikufe kesho tu Na, kwa hiyo status umetoboa kusoma, sayi unajisot maisha yako. Yeah. Kwa very smart. Tunawana wewe, uko, mbaka uko na business card umenipea hapa. Hiyo, <laughs> <Does it? laughs> yes. e, ndiyo, niriweza kusoma, nikasoma inchi ya Rwanda, na nikakaja hapa Kenya, pia nikaenderea kusoma. So kwa hiyo, tunaweza kusurvive. Now, uh, Jean Marie's story is, is uh, his story is sad on very many levels, and for me, the hardest hitting part uh, was that after the discovery that his mother was alive, uh, years after after he thought she had passed on, they have never met since 2009 due to unavoidable circumstances, and this is just an isolated case. We'll share as many as we can in the coming weeks, and but. 
what stands out for me is that despite uh, the pain he's, he may have been forced to live with as a person, owing to what he's been through, at least Jean-Marie has struggled to a point where he can fend for himself. Uh, he has received education, Nasaiya Komahali. Hayuko Mali anezataka kukua, but at least he's somewhere. Now, this is the least we as a family can wish for the refugees who are still young and have been forced uh, into a situation that you'd never wish on your worst enemy. The education of such children is where uh, the funds we have been raising on this show are directed. And their past may be a disaster, but education gives them a chance for a better future. Now, for as little as 10 bob, or as much as your heart is willing to give, we can have a serious impact on the lives of these children. And the process is very simple. And I promise myself that I'll be doing it over and over again as much as we are doing this together. You can take your phone, say, enda kwa M-Pesa. Uh, go to Lipa na Mpesa, go to pay bill. The account number as written uh, on your screen right now is, uh, the account number is 329378. And the account number, I repeat, the, uh, the, the number is 329378. The account number, work a wicked edition so that we can be able to track all the contributions from members of the Wicked Edition family. Uh, Alafu, I'll update you on how much we have contributed uh, in the coming episodes. Na asante ni sana for your continued support. Uh, please go to your Mpesa. Please go to your Mpesa. Tuchangamu kebana. Hata kama ni tenbo bukonayo. Awa tuipi wapate chance ya kusoma na nafasi ya kujitegemea pambele. Thank you in advance. So, there's a very vocal lady on Twitter and it was at Bossibori underscore KE. And she caught my attention with this tweet she posted on the 28th of October. Uh, that's uh, October, October ni last month. Uh, he say, uh, the tweet was, uh, the tweet read, Hello my salaried friends, this is the week. Ama, alafa kaweka emoji ya hii feeling. Yo. <laughs> For real. I had very many interpretations of this tweet, but what stuck is, in Kenya today, salaried people have one thing in common, na nyuele alari madou. They are drastically reducing with time. <laughs> For real. And the Daily Nation this past Tuesday carried a headline that over 20,000 workers have lost their jobs over the past one year. But there's some good news. The good news is, over 20,000 old people have been employed over the same period. You could argue that the skills are rather balanced, but that's uh, not what we'd love to discuss on the show tonight, but that does not mean that Wezi Guzia. We've had enough complaints about unemployment, we've had enough excuses. Marao is the education system, so we need a new curriculum. Uh, the youth should focus on self-employment. What uh, uh, wa biashara, or the so-called self-employed, over the past few months, now pia ukiwoleza, biashara inaendeleaje? That's the language across board. But now that begs the question, what's the way forward? We'll be discussing this in depth with our very able guest, Jerotich Sei, on the second part of the show. But before that, it would be very unfair for me to deny last week's meme lords uh, the title that they very well deserve. And not to forget the goodies I promised them from the weekend data bundles, courtesy of our sponsors on this show, uh, Telcom Kenya, who are offering the most affordable data bundle packages in the market right now. If you 70 bob pekeake, you get 1.5 GB weekend data bundle package. Now, for 120 bob, unapata 3.5 GB. Just dial star 544 hash. Ufungwe mission yako ya weekend. Now, uko sorted from Leo Friday, mpaka weekend ishe. Our winners from last week on Twitter, tukona at Kim Jobil. Um, uh, Ali post EP chaka sema. How many of you can beat their chest and say, I'm not cheating on my partner? As for me, I have chest problems. <laughs> <laughs> we also have Rocky Mbinda, uh, who posted this, wondering, Mbona kando inazima katikati ya kati, uh, kila wakati, kila time, kwani dirisha iko open? I didn't get it until I saw the guy's nose. <laughs> uh, for real. Um, other than Adi Mikey, who I mentioned earlier, on Facebook we also had Doreen B. Uh, anasema, ati, aliposti image, akasema, ati, when you send a voice note laughing, but it doesn't send, so you have to laugh again. <laughs> Let's maintain the madness levels. I still have more giveaways from Telcom Kenya, so the challenge continues. What to Twitter, share the funniest meme on your phone right now. Use hashtag the wicked bundles. 
make sure umetag at Telcom Kenya na at Dr. Underscore Kingori on Twitter. Watu wangu wa Facebook, I'm posting uh, this photo. Sai, kwa page yangu. Iyo. Na ipo sai. Mnajua vile sisi ufanya. We, weka the funniest meme kwa simu yako, hapo kwa comments. Sana sana, weka latest. Alafu mtu wakia kakitu noma, make sure umempatia like ama reaction while it's still free. Instagram, ni simple. Slide kwa DM. Instagram, uh, kwa api kitu. Yes. Instagram, uh, slide kwa DM. Na that said, tukutane on the other end of this short commercial break with our guests. Ah! Jero teach say to break down your concept yama job. Now hopefully Vlen Nisema, this show could have a bald moment for you. See you guys in a bit. <laughs> Welcome back to the weekend edition. I'm Dr. Kingori. The subject of our show Leo ni tunata kujua are the excuses we've been given here, the situation we are facing as a country, excusable. On top of that, uh, this show has been inspired by the questions and requests ni mekwani kipata za wasewa wa nasema. Ah, nisaidie kutafta job, nisaidie kutafta uh, uh, inaituaje internship and everything. I hope, I don't think I can answer all the questions. I don't think I can be able to respond to everything as in on that professional level. And that's why we have Jero Teach Sei in the house. Wapi makofi yake? <laughs> Karibu sana. Sante sana. Karibu sana. Yeah. The reason why we had Jero Teach ni nime kwa na watch interview zake na the small bites ame kwa ki peana. Wale wase wengi wanamjua wanamjua na kupiga ni astima. Na the small, the small, small bites ni meona zilikuwa na passion mob sana. Flowing ya eni aje, this has to happen and everything. What inspires you? Thank you, first of all. Thank you very much. Can Considering that I'm not a youth, I'm so happy that you have invited me <laughs> to the show. You are the first Kenyan to volunteer not being a youth. I'm not a youth. In fact, uh, Rashida Chesa is much younger than me, so I'm not a youth at all. Oh, really? <laughs> so thank you so much for inviting me. Caribbean. You know what drives me? Yes. Is that, I'm first of all, I'm Kenya. And I like the question that somebody had asked about age. Does age matter? I think if you have a passion and a commitment for what is right, it doesn't matter whether you're 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, even those ones in their 70s who still call themselves youth. So that's what inspires me. And what brought me to the fore of the fight for social justice recently in the past yes. year and a half or so, almost two years, is the switch off KPLC campaign, where we're looking at energy justice, where we're looking at the reduced cost of electricity prices and challenging the energy cartels that continue to drive the prices of stima up in Kenya. Nah. So, so I'm just an ordinary Kenyan, like everybody else, but I I decided at some point that I wanted to come out more strongly and more vocally uh, to protest and speak up against social injustice. And I believe KP, KPLC being uh, the, the major player in the energy industry, you of ITN now, they've continued to shock you. Yes. <laughs> well, well, they, they shock us, but we are planning to electrocute them eventually. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's <laughs> that is actually, to be honest, that is borrowed from, from somebody who said uh, that, that some people had been electrocuted. But, um, but really, our idea is to say, you are a monopoly, okay. but you're not being fair to us. Uh, to some people, some of the young people, token is the only uh, sound system they have in the house. Your tea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sasa, when it yes. comes to uh, Kutafta Job, uh, I actually have covered unemployment so many times on the show before. Everyone's looking for a job. Yeah. Uh, from the look of things, when we mentioned that uh, over 20,000 people have lost their jobs, uh, as we speak this week, Wednesday, uh, there's a company that fired people. There are people being, uh, living on the verge um, uh, under the fear of being fired any time. Mm -hmm. So what this spells is that um, basically uh, employment is not even safe. It's no longer as safe at, as uh, it was before. So... Is there something for people to look up to if employment is not working in the first place? It's a terrible thing that 85% of those 20,000, possibly, uh, we, have not, we have not yet done uh, the, the, the work around that, but based on the estimates and the statistics that show that 85% of those unemployed in Kenya today happen to be young people under the age of 35, you can almost be sure that the 20,000 
who are and will continue to be losing their jobs, will 85% of them will likely also be under the age of 35. So that's a bad thing because the challenges being faced by young people in terms of looking for employment, finding employment, maintaining employment, making sure it is gainful employment because you have employment, but you also have employment that is gainful. Are the skills of the person being employed being utilized correctly? And if not, why are they where they are? When people look forward to being employed, right? Mm. Is it the, the real? Is is it is it really what we should look forward to? Because as we were speaking earlier, you told me that you've worked for twenty three years, but you still are not where you would wish to be. Yes, I've been I've been in formal employment of one kind or another for the past twenty two, twenty three years, and I'm still struggling. And I think it is, it is time that even those of us who are in our 40s, in our 50s, admit that there is a massive economic downturn in Kenya. People are struggling. And it's not to say, Haki woye unihurumie, please employ me as Mary Wamboy to continue heading up. No, no, no. I'm not making a case for old people to remain employed forever at your expense. But to say the country is in trouble. And when you unpick the kind of economic trouble that we are in as Kenyans today, you will be more clearly able to understand why there are no jobs available for young people. Even these, uh, the, the, the expressway and the SGR, who is going to be driving on that expressway? You're, 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 you're investing in infrastructure for who to use if we don't have jobs, it if we be, don't have money. It will be a if foot bridge. Not, if our business... <laughs> <laughs> and it will be a foot bridge, the most, the most expensive foot bridge in the world because Simtalipa 300 bob could be your foot bridge from, from JKIA yeah. to, to James Kishuru. So we are investing in the wrong things as far as I'm concerned. This government is busy servicing the needs and the requirements of private sector. We worship a God called Chinese loans. We are putting our money in places where we shouldn't be. The reason uh, we actually know, everyone knows, the unemployment situation is bad. It's bad right now. If we can only, Basi, respond to one final thing before I let you go. Yeah, okay, Sawa, things are that bad. Kabisa, what's the worst that can happen? Now that economists argue, like David D, that the situation is irreversible. So where are we going? The worst that can happen for me is the best that can happen. In that, we are going to arrive at a tipping point as Kenyans. Where even those middle class hiding behind their tinted windows and their big cars cannot fuel them anymore. When enough people are hungry, when enough people are therefore angry, and we reach that tipping point. Then, and here is where I expect, the youth who are continuously despised, even the Bible says, I think somewhere in Timothy, it says, do not let people despise you because of your youth. The youth who have been despised seriously and long by successive regimes, don't just think I'm talking about Jubilee, this has been a 56 year long project of despising young people, that those same youth will rise up. When we talk about revolution, it seems funny. You think Sudan, you think Hong Kong, you think Lebanon. In Kenya, we say, I see, oh, that's not our business. But it will literally take an uprising, a literal uprising, not just tweeting. And I love Twitter and social media. I use it for my activism. Beyond your screens and your, and, your, and your phones and your laptops, it will take us to come out and say enough is enough. But in order to do that, and this is the, 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 the advice that I would give or urge or encourage young people to do, know your history. Don't be one dimensional in terms of saying seen a job and you're stranded and you're stuck. That mental paralysis needs to be removed by taking the time, especially since we don't have work, but we have bundles. And even Dr. Kingori is, is giving us bundles from time to time. I don't know, yeah, una, una, una Use those bundles to do some research. Read people. Read Kina Dr. Nde. Read our history. Understand, for example, how our education system is the way it is today. What were the origins from colonial days until where we are today? Understand the problems so that even even as we begin possibly to envision or imagine a solution, we are grounded in a history and a knowledge that is solid. When we are one dimensional, we are like a piece of paper. If you throw it, it just, it just falls to the ground like that. When you're multidimensional, you're like me, you can't angusha me very easily even if you try.
So you have to move beyond being one dimensional and say, I want to know why we are the way we are. Is it political? Is the problem political? Is the problem uh, social? Is the problem ethnic? Is it, what is the problem? So that you can begin to think about the solutions that need to come your way. And on behalf of people who are my generation, as in older than the youth, I really apologize. Especially those of us who were born the first 10 years or so after independence. We, 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 our parents encouraged us, we went to school, we even drank nyayo milk, this and that and the other, and eventually we found ourselves getting jobs. When I say I've been more or less employed for the past uh, 22, 23 years, that is not the reality of somebody who is graduating today from university. They cannot say that they will be employed for the next 23 years. It is precarious. And I apologize for many of us who just sat there and watched successive regimes okay. destroy this country. We didn't stand up, we didn't speak. But we shall be with you. You are the would-be, you are the future reformers of this country. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. And before we unanimously accept the apology, I would like to probably get it uh, from you again that uh, you are apologizing because we are suffering because of your generation. <laughs> yes, yes, in part. If you, if in, in one sentence, that, that can be it. And my generation and the generation before me. Yes. And we have kept silent. And this silence instead of agitating and those who are agitated as are, are see who are agitators are seen as fringe crazy people uh, they are the ones who are to be deported to canada or they are the people who are to be uh, kept in certain places and told these ones were when there was him you'll soon hear Ata wiyo cherotich. don't even she's crazy she's negative always about the country we we when you agitate you're put to the side. So, yes, we are to blame. But I don't want your children, the children of young people today, to also blame the youth today and say, you didn't do what you could do when you could have done it. Ah, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Asante sana. Thank you very much. Thank you. My great, one of my greatest take homes is that while I was working out after job, uh, Come out jobless, it's not your fault. No. You know whose fault it is. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, we sold Jaron, we sold Jaron, we sold Jaron Kabisa. To say Diane Mali Tunaweza, there's something I do. Mm. If someone does something with social media, especially now that we are being encouraged to do uh, your self employment, mm. share. Ukipata mtu wa mefanya kitu, share. Iyo kitu yake mbaya, atafanya, 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 mbaka ikuwe mzuri. In the meantime, before we know where we are heading to. Yes. Sindio? Yes. Uh, in the name of uh, employment, I don't even know how people get employed in government. See no idea. Neither, idea neither do I. That has seen idea, Mimi. We should have this conversation again. Because the unemployment in Akanikama is still around for mm. a while. Yeah. Uh, in the meantime, <coughs> in the meantime uh, I wish Kilam to all the best. But at least because Akujangana in the process. That's why now Patia offers Ama Telcom a very, very affordable deal, ya data bundles, uh, weekend bundles, they are weekend bundles. Now for 70 bob only you get 1.5 GB worth of data ya kutumia the whole weekend. Ukiona 120 bob, unapata 3.5 GB. All you need to do Finya star 544 hash, you subscribe. Na badu mipia ni kona zenye na peana. Na mnajua, uh, it's a win-win situation. Tuki jenge ya nasiku, tuki toa na stress za unemployment, tuki toa na stress za kuwa employed at 60. Uh, memes, <laughs> memes really come through for us. So kwa, on my Facebook page, tuki mbia conversation hapo kwa comments, uh, rusha the funniest meme you have. Mtu wa kirusha kitu kali, let's agree. Give it a like, give it a... In it waje yo kitu, yo reaction, finya reaction appropriate. Usikuwe mchoyo, likes ni free. Always sema you can't afford to like someone's uh, <laughs> uh, kitu kali. Watu wa Twitter, uh, you can share uh, the best meme on your phone, the funniest, the latest, uh, on the hashtag, uh, hashtag the wicked bundles. Make sure you tag at Telcom Kenya, na at Dr. Underscore Kingori. And still on the same breath, watu ni kusaidiana. Watu ni kujengana. Uh, na e The Wicked Edition family, kwa hizi vitu sisi ufanya. Eh, one of the shows, ama one of the people, as in e family, ya Wicked, iyo contribution ya Luku Luku campaign na kukontribute towards UNHCR. You come through for them sana. Na tunendelea kwa show. I went to Kakuma ni kawana vile vitu zika on the ground. I'll share the clips tukiendelea. Uh, Initwaje progressively. Ni stories mob sana. Kuna mpaka cases za refugee uh, children, we covered the story, uh, who take up the responsibility of parenting. There's a lady pia nitawashu story yake, she's in class 8. 
alikuwa form 3 in their school akarudi Kenya akaambwa they are pan tambua certificate <laughs> apan tambua certificate ya Uganda akiwa form 3 akarudishwa class 7 kurudishwa class 7 for real she has to do her exams tena za KCP ndio apate tu certificate aende but she's taking care of her two siblings watoi sasa yeye ndio mzazi wao Hajui madhi yake yako wapi. Uh, she, she also thought, alikuwa na story kama ya Jean Marie, uh, she also thought that uh, her mom had passed on. Siku moja mama yake yaka wapigia simu after a neighbor little di home, haka wapigia tu simu haka wasalimia, kutoka hapo hajai sikia kwa ketena. Imagine kuishi na iyo uncertainty. Saizi matenbo msengine sisi uto wa kwa show. Najua tunateseka, najua, najua, najua mabet mob zimeungua. <laughs> but for as little as ten bob, Sengine, he at least you, are, you will have done, you will have done sapia kitu kwa humanity, ukitoa tenbob, eh, tukishikana sisi, tukiwa wengi, inenda inekwa kwa pool, wanasaidia kujenge wa madarasa, at least wakona chance ya kukuwa na future siku moja. Hata ya kipata hiyo saati siku moja, hata kuja tuteseke na ye, but at least hakuwa na kitu ya kutafta job. Now the process is very simple. Enda kwa mpesa, enda kwa paybill, numbers ndio hizi hapa, the account name, account number ni 329378. Account name, weka wicked edition so that we can be able to track uh, family ama squad yetu imetoa ngapi na ni nini ineza fanyika. Otherwise, thank you for joining us. Ni moto next week. Ni moto. See you same time, same place. That's it for the wicked edition. See you next week. My name is Dr. <laughs>